leaves are turning brown Red and yellow Soon they'll be far My rug is inhabiting me from scooting up. There we go. Hello, everybody. It is a few days later when I am filming this and I actually just finished the very secret society of irregular witches. That title is literally a mouthful. Try to say that five times fast. I literally dare you. Okay, anyway, let's take a sip of our coffee. That is putrid. Awesome. On the bright side, this book is not as bad as that coffee was. I finished this like an hour ago and I decided to give this a three and a half stars. It is a very cozy book. I really, really loved all the cozy vibes and the found family that is in this book. And usually I do not enjoy books with children in them. They're just not my jam. But the way that this author wrote the kids that are in this book and the guy in this book and the girl in this book and just all of the characters around you literally cared for each and every one of them and loved them for their own type of thing. The way that they described kind of like the witchy magic was just so like cozy and adorable it was just there was like no evilness about it it was just like a bunch of like she has like a koi pond that she like can levitate and like take the car with her and pack the car to the brim filled with stuff but you don't know that it's filled with stuff like all of those little fun i feel quirky type of things that were in this book that just made it so cozy and just so fun it was definitely a really enjoyable read and i feel like it is up there with like the x hex for me for this time of year to have some like cozy reads so i would definitely say that this is like a really good fall cozy read if you guys are looking for like a found family cozy type of thing and i had a great time reading it so that is the first book for this video we have quite a few other books to choose from but one of the books that i have i have been seeing like multiple different places and if i'm not mistaken i am pretty sure that it is yes it is larry bestie larry here i saw that this my roommate is a vampire is actually larry's book club read for this month which i think there's like mixed reviews on this i don't know it's like a short it seems like it could be cute and fun so actually while we're talking about fable i do want to say a huge thank you to fable for sponsoring today's video i've known about fable for probably like more than a year now and i just think that fable is so cute so like one thing that i love about fable is how you can join people's book clubs on i am personally a part of larry's book club and i'm part of heather's book club those are the two that i partake in i'm actually trying to like build up my profile on fable but i think that it is so fun because like as soon as you open up the app you just go and there's like a bunch of posts from people and you can go into these different book clubs and like you can see just people making and sparking up conversations too is what I love is that this is like a platform where you can post about the books you're reading be a part of book clubs but also you have like a community feature all in one which I really really like because I feel like that's something that's missing from like other platforms that I feel like Fable is giving you where you can literally just go on the homepage and you can see anybody's post and what they're doing spark up a conversation with people about the most random things like for example I'm literally looking at somebody who is posting like a dedication and they're talking about it sparking up a conversation for other people who may like the dedication and talk about it so let's dive into Fable a little bit for those of you who may not know what Fable is Fable is definitely a very much community centered app if you are looking to discuss books that way you can find read and discuss books with a bunch of other people. Fable definitely highlights the community aspect because you don't have to be a part of a book club to start a discussion with people. You can literally just post any type of thought that you have and that's what I was talking about earlier. When you scroll through the home page you can see anybody's random thoughts and it's not like being a part of their book club. You can just be a part of a community with people. Literally anybody can post on there. You can post anything from like book recommendations, lists, reviews, any type of conversation that you want to spark up and start you can start on Fable. Like for example you can like post about a book. I'm pretty sure the other day I literally just posted that I was reading this book and I was talking about how I was 40% into it and starting a conversation like that. I don't have a book club on Fable. I just make posts on there, which I really like to do because I feel like it's a very much laid back community aspect where it's a little bit more close knit that we can just discuss what I'm posting, what I'm reading, what you guys think about this in little snippets. And a new feature that Fable actually just launched is the For You feed, which this is where you're going to find like people that you follow or even accounts are going to be shared with you that they feel 
like are personalized with you and it kind of hones in on like what you guys are interested in so it can be like people asking for book recommendations just people starting book conversations all of that different stuff honestly fable is a great way to like share your thoughts about books and discover new books and just build like your own little community and there's actually tons of different things you can do so i've talked about how i'm a part of book clubs you guys can join book clubs on there there's also different things like there's also different lists that you can make like want to read um currently reading red dnfs like favorite books you can make so many different lists that way even when people like visit your profile there are other list categories that you can make that way when somebody visits your profile they can basically see like a bunch of things with you and i am somebody who loves lists and categories so you know that I am all for that. They have over a million different ebooks in their store that you can buy, and they actually have thousands of free classics. So it's also a new way that you can just like buy books straight from the app. That way, like say you're part of a book club, or if, so say I had a book club on Fable, and I would say, oh, I said that this was this month's book pick. You could literally buy this book just straight off of the app. So when you buy these books, you actually read them through the app. And guys, you can like highlight, annotate, like make little tabs. You can do little like emoji reactions. You can also turn some of your favorite highlights into pretty little like quote graphics that you can then share onto your feed. Also, Fable does donate a portion of every book sold to the World Literacy Foundation. Like I said, I have started to post on Fable so you guys can actually go follow me. I will put the link down in my description to sign up with Fable and to follow me. Also, the best part about it is Fable is completely free so you guys don't have to worry about any of that. I will actually have the app linked down below and for you guys to follow me on there. And let me know if you guys would be interested in starting the We Read That and put it on Fable as well. I feel like that would be a nice little sense of community that we could do. So let me know your guys' thoughts on that. So thank you so much again to Fable for sponsoring today's video. And don't forget guys to download the app and follow me on there. That way we can build our own little book community over on Fable. And you guys can even start your own little book communities over there as well. And like I said, my roommate is a vampire. It's actually Larry's book club's pick. So we're actually going to start this one. This is essentially is exactly what the title is about. This girl moved moves into an apartment and she finds out that her roommate is a vampire. Okay guys, so I am on page 153 right now of my roommate is a vampire and I have a few thoughts. So I went to like put this book on my Goodreads to say how I was reading it. Why am I talking like so slow right now? And it honestly really surprised me when I went on to Goodreads to log that I was reading this book because this is a book that I saw that was coming out on Bookstagram like months ago and I was really really excited to read it and it has like an average of like a 3.5 rating on Goodreads and it has like almost 20,000 ratings. Like most of the reviews are four stars to a three stars and here's the thing when I look at these types of books like when I look at like books like the X hex or even the last book that I read in this book I know that more than likely this isn't going to be a five star it can and I'm not going to not have it be a five star if I get that feeling but I know more than likely it's not going to be a five star but I know that I'm more than likely going to have just a really fun time reading the book and so I'm not too harsh on them unless that there's like certain things that are just really like you know, like packing the punches of stuff that I really don't like in a book. Most of the time they get like a three to a four star because I think that they're super fun reads for this time of year. I don't know why we're being so harsh on this book. We just got to the kind of point of the book where she finds out that he's a vampire because she like, you know, it's a whole point of the book. The only thing that I'm having a hard time with is that he is described to be a very attractive man, right? She keeps on saying like he's the most beautiful man that she has ever seen in her life. He is like out of this world attractive. But then she like, after she says that statement, I'm like, okay, okay like let me start let me get my mind rolling and then she talks about the clothes that he's wearing that does not commute in my brain my brain almost like short circuits when she starts talking about how he dresses like she describes it as kind of like a victorian style i think at one point he's wearing a top hat and personally that just doesn't do it for me i almost want to look this up and see if anybody's done like an aesthetic for this on pinterest <laughs> this book is actually so cute like the guy the main is his name frederick we're gonna call him freddy because i don't like the name <laughs> Anyway, he's so boyfriend. He's so boyfriend, what? They're at this clothing store and the like sales lady is kind of like low-key hitting on him in a way. And he just keeps on, like she like pops out and she's like, oh wow, he looks great in everything, doesn't she? And he's like, thank you, Cassie likes this shirt. I will take one in every color. <laughs> I will be trying these on. If you could bring me casual shirts in every size and color available, that would be a good use of your time. <laughs> because his character is like kind of stuck in like the like centuries ago and so he talks like very like proper it's like when he says things they're like passive aggressive but in like a proper way 
<laughs> it just truly sends me. Guys, stop. Because why is 1989 releasing this week? And literally this part of the book, listen. Amelia, he said laughing, you have got to talk with Cassie's new roommate. You never told me Frederick was such a big Taylor Swift fan. I choked on a sip of my wine. I'm sorry, I said once I recovered, but Taylor Swift. Frederick shuffled his feet awkwardly. I might have mentioned a few things I knew about Taylor Swift to some people in the kitchen. A few things. Sam laughed again and shook his head. Don't be so modest. Your knowledge of her 1989 era is encyclopedic. <laughs> Same. I need to take a picture of this. You're a Taylor Swift fan? Amelia shrugged. I mean, what's not to like? I agree, Frederick said. Taylor Swift, who was born in West Reading, Pennsylvania in 1989, has won 11 Grammy Awards from the National Academy of Recording Arts and Scientists. And scientists? Scientists. Why did this actually bring me so much joy? That he is like gushing about, like he was doing some like internet research because you know like he's a vampire, he doesn't know like much about modern society. So he was doing internet research and it is so funny to me that his internet research concluded to Taylor Swift and he completely, specifically her 1989 era. This is so invisible screen coded. When I tell you that this 300 year old vampire is so boyfriend, he's so boyfriend. It's like having an emotional moment and he's like sitting outside of the bathroom. Move away from the door, Cassie, I'm worried about you. I'd like to come in. And then he says, who did this to you? What happened? Oh, I'm a failure is all. You are not a failure, he said firmly. Anyone who made you feel like one will have me to deal with. He's so cute. Like this book is so cute and fun. Okay guys, I actually just finished My Roommate is a Vampire and this book was so much fun. Like it was so fun and adorable and just funny in its own little way. Even like some of like, they took like a wacky storyline there at the end. And I really liked the way that this book ended off and it kind of alluded to her writing like another book, kind of like a companion book. And I just think that this little series is so fun. And honestly, I think that you can read this even when it's not like the Halloween fall time because it doesn't give that like exact vibe, but it's so funny where I feel like it has the humor and wittiness of a true rom-com. Like it feels like a true 100% rom-com and I just really, really like that. Honestly, I think I'm gonna rate this a four stars. Like it was so cute and I just had such a good time reading it and sometimes that's really all that matters. Like, is it the best book I've ever read? No, but did I have such a good time reading it and like giggling out loud and I just really loved the guy in this book. Like I didn't expect to really like him as much as I did and I really, really enjoyed his character mixed with the girl character and their kind of little like missions and stuff they would go on i don't know i thought it was really really cute we had two books that were highly rated we have a three and a half and a four i feel like these were so cute i wanted to do a little mini little reading vlog and put it out there so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i don't think i have it in me to read any more books in today's video but i asked you guys over on instagram i was like if i uploaded a mini reading vlog would you guys still watch it even if it was just like maybe 10 minutes long and you guys all said yes so if you guys hate this video I am genuinely from the bottom to the top of my heart so sorry and there will be way better videos because I know I usually make like a lot longer uh, my videos are usually a lot longer in length so I'm so sorry about that but thank you guys again so much for even watching this video and I hope you guys like the little cute mini reading vlog that we have if you did you guys know what to do like comment subscribe all the YouTube stuff you guys know what to do and oh and don't forget to click the link down below to download Fable and follow me on there and that way we can all have a little fun in our little book community so with that being said I will see you guys when I see ya Peace.